This is Ashton Marcus, and I'm on location at the Gem Theater for their presentation of Always Patsy Klein. Hi, my name is Ashton Marcus. I'm with KUCI 88.9 FM in Irvine. I'm here with D. Chandra playing Louise Sigger. Well, I was born and raised in the South, so the accent comes naturally, but I don't use it all the time. <laughs> I've been involved in theater since I was about 12. Went to college and majored in theater, went to New York City and did some off-Broadway work, and then have traveled all around the country, but this is my most favorite role of all. <laughs> Great, and which character did you play? Louise Seeger. I am Patsy's best friend. Louise was a Texas housewife from Houston who heard Patsy Cline on the Arthur Godfrey show and fell in love with her voice. She met her at a honky-tonk in Houston in 1961. They became very dear friends and continued a pen pal relationship until Patsy was killed in a plane crash in 1963. And that's what the story of the play is all about. I loved your performance tonight. It was fantastic. Well, thank you very much. It's a fun role because I get to ad lib all like crazy. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, you were actually a very wonderful character actor. It showed a lot of humor and it was actually a very lovely character. Thank you. Thank you very much. It was a fun part to play. And we've still got three weeks to go. Four weeks to go. Whatever. I can't wait to do it again. Okay. Well, <laughs> once again, I loved your performance. Thank you very much for being on the show. Thank you. Hi, my name is Ashton Marcus. I'm with KUCI 88.9 FM in Irvine. I'm here with Nicole Cassesso. I play Patsy Klein in the show. <laughs> I loved your performance. It was fantastic. I, I just I thought it was beautiful. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. I've actually seen a lot of your work, but this actually excelled above everything I've seen before. You actually managed to somehow almost channel Patsy Klein. Thank you. I, I have been uh, eating, sleeping, breathing, dreaming uh, Patsy Klein 24-7 for the last uh, couple months and um, researching her, reading about her, photos, any videos I can get my hands on and, and just listening to her music. So she's definitely up there with me <laughs> every step of the way. I've actually been seeing the, uh, the uh, performances here at Gem and I've actually noticed an increase in every single performance. I think this is the best I've seen so far. Thank you. Yeah, I mean, that's that's definitely the goal. Um, we've got some great designers, great production staff. Um, you know, everyone just keeps getting better and better and better. And uh, as far as the musicians and the actors on stage, the performance that you're seeing, I think you can feel the energy, especially tonight. We've got, we've got a lot of our friends and family here. And, um, you know, they love this place. They take care of this place. And I think that is translating more and more out on stage to how much people care and the passion that they have and uh, we're really giving them people an opportunity to push themselves a lot farther than they might at some other theaters. Some people have commented that I, I give my harshest criticism to the Gem Theater. That's because actually I see a lot of potential, a lot of good stuff, and I always give it a positive review. If I gave it a negative review, I wouldn't say anything. But basically that means people who are actually on the borderline, they get to my worst. I know it had absolutely nothing to do with it, but I, I really, really love this performance. Thank you so much. Well, I think it was uh, Bonnie Raitt that said, let's give him something to talk about, you know? So uh, we, we appreciate that you're here. We appreciate that you're talking about us. And, um, you know, we're, we're, we're ready to keep back in the houses and, and having people come out and, and enjoying the shows. Uh, I love the performance. Thank you very much for being on the show. Thank you so much for being here. And, and come see Patsy Klein. <laughs> Hi, my name is Ashton Marcus. I'm with KUCI 88.9 FM in Irvine. I'm here with Damian Lorton, Artistic Director of One More Productions at the Gem Theater. And uh, what did you direct tonight? Always Patsy Klein. I love this performance. I think, I think it's the best I've seen so far for the Gem Theater. In fact, you know, here's something I've actually heard, a quote that uh, they said about my shows. The hardest shows that I actually review are actually for, for the Gem Theater. They say I'm the most critical. The reason behind that is because, first of all, if I gave it a negative review, I wouldn't say anything. But the Gem Theater was never quite up there with 3D or Music Theater West or La Mirada, you know, McCoy Rigby. So I can never really say I love it, but I always gave a little bit of a, you know, criticism. 
this performance, I loved this performance. Oh, I'm so glad to hear that. It, it's wonderful to be in that group. You know, we're on a budget of $30,000 when they have a budget of $300,000 a show. So there's a big difference then. And they're bringing in equity actors and union people from New York and Broadway stars. And, and we bring, uh, I like to say, the stars of tomorrow. We give them a place to hone their skills and move on to something great like 3D or, or La Mirada. But, um, but this is a great show. It's beautiful music. It's something that people know and it's nostalgic. And, and we just have two amazing performers and a kickers band that you wouldn't believe. So we're really proud of the work we do here. What, what drew you to this script? I think, honestly, the thing that drew me to the script the most is I got to see this production probably about 12, 15 years ago in Laguna. And it was so... It brought back such, it flooded back memories of my childhood, listening to Tammy Wynette, Patsy Cline, Merle Haggard on the radio, listening to them on the on the, on the eight track that my dad would play in his car, and I just fell in love with it. It's a, it's a very special musical that makes you feel good, it brings back memories of your youth, or, or it just brings flooding memories back to you, and it's just fantastic. The script is interesting, it's not written... In normal theater ways, it's not written like most scripts are written. It's um, one character does 90% of the talking and the other character does 90% of the singing. And it's just so magical how it all works together. You actually had a new person uh, in, in the caster, and I, I just loved her. I thought she was fantastic. What do you look for in your casting? Well, for this role in particular, I look for someone that I want to sit down and have a beer with, someone that I would want to talk to and, and tell a story with and spend an evening with. And this actress walked in, and she's one of many, but she just knocked it out of the park. And she's a fantastic woman, brilliantly talented, and just really brings the story to life through her storytelling. I particularly love the musicians, too. I thought they were all fantastic. Uh, how, how did you find them? Well, we always hire professional musicians. You know, we have fantastic people on the show. Um, we have a steel guitar, which is very rare these days. Um, he's actually from Nashville. He's in the, for the show. Um, he lives in Temecula now, um, and he makes a commute every day all the way down to Garden Grove, about an hour and a half drive to be here. He's got an amazing fiddle player, amazing, amazing guitar player, just fantastic. We have Richard Abraham, who's on piano, who has been a jazz pianist and a country pianist for years, very well known. But um, they jumped at the opportunity to play this show and to work here at the Gem. We're really excited about that and very proud to bring that to life here. Okay. Yeah. Uh, once again, I love the performance. And uh, about the Gem Theater, I've noticed every single performance has gotten better and better. I, I, I really loved this performance. Well, thank you. You know, Nicole and I, when we opened this company, it's been about the art for us and giving a home for talented young individuals to really prosper and grow and to be able to move on to the next step, to move on to the 3Ds, to move on to the to La Mirada Theater, to move on to, to Musical Theater West. And, and that's what we do, and that's our job. And we give a home for people to hone their skills. And I'm so proud and so honored to be able to do that. And I, like I said, I think we produce Tomorrow Stars, where Tomorrow Stars gets to shine today. So thank you so much for coming out tonight and spreading the word. And tell people to get down here and see it. It's a fun one. Thank you once again for being on the show. Thank you so much for having us. Thank you. Thank you. Always Patsy Klein. We'll be playing at the Gem Theater from April 7th to May 1st. For more information, go to www.onemoreproductions.com.